happening everyone welcome back to another vlog i am so excited my sierra unfiltered hat just got released yesterday probably like a week at least from when you guys are watching this but as i'm filming it it got released yesterday and i have been wearing this hat like every day since i got the sample like three weeks ago but every time i'm like vlogging or filming i have to take it off because obviously it wasn't released yet so i didn't want you guys to see it and now i can just wear it so i'm very very happy because i wanted to wear it today and then i was like oh no i'm gonna vlog and then i realized but wait it doesn't matter everyone's seen it so if you want to snag one make sure to go to the link in the description the curvy crew.com i think there's only like 50 left as of filming this so they're selling out really quick but anyways today i am just finishing up like getting ready i did my hair i'm gonna make up i'm about to leave the house and it's a busy day today so First things first, I am graduating from college on Friday from my community college. I'm getting my AA, I'm so excited. So I have to go pick up my graduation cap and gown from the school campus today. And I laugh as I say that because I've actually like never been to my school's actual campus. I've done like all my classes through them online. So I've literally never been there. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up my cap and gown. Um, I also need to go to Hobby Lobby and get the stuff that I need to decorate my graduation cap for Friday. And then the main thing I'm doing today is I'm filming a video where I'm gonna let the people in front of me choose what outfits I buy. This has been kind of a trend for food. Like you go through the drive-through and you just buy whatever the person in front of you bought. And so many people have been asking me to do it, but I'm a vegetarian. So like nine out of 10 things that someone would get on a fast food menu, I couldn't eat. And then I was talking to my friend Gabriella at um, this YouTube convention last week, and she's like, you should do it, but with clothes. And I was like, that is brilliant. I'm gonna do it, so thank you, Gabriella. So after I pick up my cap and gown and go to Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna be picking up Kenzie, and she's gonna come with me to go shopping. Usually Skylar comes with me, because Skylar actually like works for me and works with me in the office here on videos. But Skylar is taking the week off because she is working on a show, and I didn't wanna do this by myself, so I was like, Kenzie, come with me! And Kenzie's pregnant as you guys know she's seven months pregnant and she's actually been on bed rest for the past week because she was having some contractions so yesterday and today were the first two days she was allowed to go do things so she had been telling me like anything that you have to do like let me know I'm so excited to leave the house this is like the perfect thing because it won't take too long like I don't have to actually try anything on I'm just buying whatever the person in front of me gets but it'll be fun it'll get her out of the house it'll get me some content and just let us have some friend time we only have like seven weeks till her baby gets here and then we will like always have three of us like me her and her baby baby instead of just me and her. So it's fun getting to just have these these last few weeks together to do girly things without the baby. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab my bag and let's head out. I got a bagel. My current go-to breakfast has been a protein shake because I found this powder at Sprouts that like I'm obsessed with. But you have to use almond milk in it and I'm out of almond milk. So I'll have to pick some up on my way home. So bagel today for breakfast. It's raining, rain, 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 raining. Do, 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 do. Not a college dropout. All right, got my cap and gown. They were completely all out of the ones in my height. So I'm five, four and a half, like five, five. They didn't have any in like five, four, five, 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 six, five, seven, or five, eight. So I literally got one for someone who's five, nine, but I tried it on and it didn't like drag on the floor. It's just a little longer than everyone else's. So yeah, my graduation gown is gonna be a little longer than everyone else's because I waited so long to buy it. But nonetheless, I'm gonna graduate. Okay, so I got my cap and gown. I'm going to pick up Kenzie now. And I just wanted to, to film real quick while I'm at a stoplight because something popped into my head. So if you guys saw in the last vlog, my friend Hannah was visiting from London and she introduced me to a new musical. It's on the West End right now and it's called Six. It's about Henry VIII's six wives, but they're pop stars. And I am obsessed. Like it's all I've been listening to. So I'm gonna play it for Kenzie when she gets in the car because Kenzie's not like a theater person but she appreciates theater and because like she's my best friend, she's around it all the time and I think she's really gonna like Six. I'm obsessed. Hey. hey. Oh my gosh, you're so pregnant. I know. How far along are you now? I'll be 33 weeks on Friday. So I have a new musical I have to show you. Hi vlog. Um, I was just telling the vlog I have to show this to you. You know how I get with musicals when I like find one I like, it's like all I listen to. Is this the one that your friend showed you? Yeah, it's like my new Hamilton. No, really? Yeah, it's so, like I legit think this could be the next Hamilton if it gets a transfer to Broadway. So I'm gonna play you the soundtrack. So it's about Henry VIII's six wives 
but they're like each a different pop star. So like one is Beyonce, one is Alicia Keys, like one is Ariana Grande. Uh, so it's so cool. cool. Okay, I'm gonna turn the vlog off because copyright. So Kenzie and I were in the car driving to the other mall because we just filmed the first two stores and now we're filming the third. And Kenzie was just, we were just talking about like if I would be a boy or a girl mom because one of our other friends just got pregnant. So we were talking about like, oh, do you think it's a boy or a girl? And then Kenzie's like, I see you being a boy mom. I think she'd be like the best boy mom ever. Everyone's she's all sporty and competitive. Everyone says they see me as a boy mom. I don't really have like one either way and neither does Steven. I guess Steven wants a girl a little bit more, but like also not pregnant. We're just talking speculatively. But like, I don't know. I, I kind of see myself as a boy mom. Oh, that, that wind though. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone always says they see me as a boy mom. And I'm like, I see you as either. And so yeah. when you said you were having a girl, I was like, not yeah, that surprised. You guys are family, so like sporty and outdoorsy. Like and I'm the only girl. And super competitive. <laughs> True. <laughs> and you're super competitive. And but you're, I like, could, so good at, like, all of that. I could have a daughter like me, who's just like, because yeah. guys, yeah. when I was growing up, I was such a tomboy. Like I wore boys clothes. I wore like, like, she would like cry when the boys wouldn't let her play kickball. Yeah, like I, I only hung out with boys. I remember the first time when I was in fourth grade that my mom said I couldn't have a sleepover with my guy friends. Or like when you went on that school trip and they're like, you can't bunk with the boys. The boys, I was so sad. But like all of my friends were boys when I was growing up. And then I went like super girly girl in middle school. But like for the first like 10 years of my life, I was so, so tomboy. So I feel like I could have a daughter like that or yeah. just be a boy mom. <laughs> Baby moving. Yeah. Aww. Tell me, tell me if she kicks. I want to feel her again. She like doesn't. She like does roll. Like how much body. room is there in there? Not enough. <laughs> I think the craziest thing is when you were telling me about how you could like feel your organs shifting. They're like all oh, up here, and I can't breathe. So when you like eat a lot, do you feel it like here yeah, instead my, of here? Yeah, I'm like super bloated up high. It's weird. That's so crazy. Seven weeks, guys. Seven weeks till I get to vlog her, like just coming up. Just kidding. I, I probably will be there when Kenzie gives birth, but I'm not gonna vlog the baby coming out. Nobody needs to see that. Nobody needs to see that. Does anyone know the name yet? No. Just me? Yeah. Yay. We got the Wetzels. We got the good. Do people still crave certain foods after they give birth? Apparently, like people will crave stuff when they're like breastfeeding. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Are they different than your pregnancy cravings or like the I same? Don't, I haven't really had pregnancy cravings though. Like I just want whatever I see other people having. Like, Kenzie's in the bathroom, so I'm holding her Wetzel's pretzels and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now I regret not getting any. But you know what? Like I don't know what it is about Wetzel's pretzels because I love soft pretzels, but when I eat Wetzel's specifically, I, I think it's the oil, my stomach does not like it. Like my stomach hurts so bad after I do. So Kenzie was like, what, you're not getting any? And I was like, you know, I love snacks. I love pretzels, but I just, Wetzel's is just too oily for me. My stomach doesn't like it. Oh, all right, it is the next day. It's about noon right now, and I am sitting at my desk working. And I had one of those mornings, I woke up at like 8.30, and I just like instantly jumped up and went to my desk and started working. I was editing the video that I filmed yesterday because I wanna get that up like right away since it's like a hot trend right now. I wanna just like push it to the beginning of my upload schedule. So I was editing that, and then like that was great that I jumped up and started working right away, but it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's good because I'm super productive and I don't like sit around and you know take the time to get ready and make breakfast and sit on the couch. But then also that's kind of a bad thing because it's noon and I haven't brushed my teeth or eaten breakfast or like hung out with the dogs at all. I've just been in the office. So I think right now I actually just finished editing that video. So I am going to go shower and get ready. Also, hey, I got AirPods if you can see that. Just makes me that little bit extra over the top. <laughs> I like them so far though. It's cool not having a wire. I enjoy it. But I'm gonna get ready and then head off to Hobby Lobby to get all of the stuff I need to DIY my grad cap. And then later today, Kenzie and I are gonna be hanging out again and she's gonna take some grad photos for me with my like cap and gown. That'll be so fun. And then tonight I have um, a social with my church group. We're going ax throwing as most church groups do, I'm sure. Just, you know, drink some beer and throw some axes. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. I, I've vlogged there before. It's like a brewery that's connected to an ax throwing place, so we're all gonna go have a beer and throw some axes and just hang out and have some fun time. And also today, I have to wear the outfit that I bought in yesterday's video, because that's part of the video, which you guys have seen by now, because my, my main channel video is gonna go up way before this vlog. So let's do it. Let's get into all of that. Okay, I'm at Hobby Lobby. I'm in this tube top and jeans. 
scenes for the main channel video that's going up like literally tomorrow as I'm filming this, but I actually really am liking this look like way more than I expected to. It is weird though, because when I vlog like this, I literally look naked because you can't see my top. I need to get like a wider angle. But right now I am getting all of the DIY stuff I need for my graduation cap. I have an idea I kind of like sketched up. It's pretty simple. I didn't want to do anything that was going to take like a ton of time. So hopefully I can get everything I need here and make it before I go to take some grad photos tonight. Look at all that glittery, glittery goodness. Okay, so I can't decide if I want my grad cap to be gold or just plain white. So I got options for both. And then I'm going to make a giant bedazzled YouTube play button with these red rhinestones and the white rhinestones. A girl named Lucy on my Instagram DM'd me this idea and I thought it was brilliant. So thank you, Lucy. I'm going to spell out I graduated, not clickbait on my grad cap. So if I use the white, I'll use the gold letters. And if I use the gold paper, I will use the silver letters. So I have options. Let's go check out and get to the DIY in. All right, Kenzie's here. She just got done with her. Is that your last ultrasound? Yeah. Her last ultrasound, a little baby. And we're working on my grad cap. So we just cut the shape. We cut the hole out and then I made like this little mock YouTube play button and we traced it on there. So now I just have to fill that up with all of my rhinestones. Okay, so here's the outline. It actually looks really good. Like I'm surprised. I did not think it was gonna look that good. I mean, we'll see. I still have a lot of chances to mess it up, but so far it's going okay. All right, I am in my graduation gown. Oh, my bra's showing. I should probably try to fix that. Take to uh, my graduation gown and this little yellow dress underneath. I don't know what I'm actually gonna wear underneath. Honestly, I don't, I don't really care. But the yellow of the dress matches the gold of my graduation cap. Okay, let me show you guys now that it's done. Here it is, Kenzie and I hand rhinestoned each of these ones. Both of our fingers are like raw. You're a true friend. So raw. I know, I have like little cuts on them. Oh my gosh, true friendship right there. Yes, hello, hi, you're very cute, but not as cute as my grad cap. Look at that, we even bedazzled the little thing. Knock it off, yes, hello, hi, I love you. Now the only problem with that is that we we made the conscious choice to not include my tassel. I just feel like it was gonna cover up how cute my grad cap was, so we're gonna bring it, and if I want any photos with it, I'll just kind of like tape it on or something. But honestly, I, I just feel like the way it looks like this is way better. What do you want? You've been fed, you've been held. You just want attention? Is that what this is? Okay, there you go. There you go. So Kenzie and I are out here taking my grad photos. You're such a good friend. Even when you're pregnant, you hand rhinestoned these with me and then came and took my photos. Like, that is so nice. Thank you. I'm attracting every like five minutes, but it's all Are good. you actually? Not every five minutes. But <laughs> every six. Yeah, you know. Well, I mean, you're only gonna graduate once, so we gotta go. Yeah, it's out. true. I am really only gonna graduate once. You gotta do it. I don't think anyone actually thought I would, so. This is a surprise to all of us, especially me. <laughs> so since we took out the little like circle part here, I have just been hanging the little tassel off the top and I think I'm gonna glue it there before the ceremony. That way I still get to have my tassel, but uh, it doesn't mess up my cap because my cap is pretty darn cute. I graduated, not clickbait. <laughs> So that counts for something. <laughs> Coming to you in my pajamas at my desk. It is the next day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. The next video you guys see will be my graduation vlog. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.